Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. And real quick, just go ahead and unbox in steelbook form part two for Justice League Crisis on Infinite Earths from DC Animated Pictures. There is the front. Batman right there, front and center, with a cast of all, you know, of who, who who's who. We have Superman. We have Batman Beyond up there on the in the very top corner. Look at that. We have Batgirl. We have Supergirl. We have Wonder Woman. We have Robin. So, yeah, pretty good cast of characters here on the front of this steelbook. So, there's the front. There is the back. And, of course, this is the 4K Ultra HD set with digital code. No Blu-ray included with this one. Now, part one for Crisis on Infinite Earths, I thought was pretty good. A lot of people thought it was lackluster, didn't live up to expectations of what everybody thought it was going to be, considering Crisis on Infinite Earths is DC's big, big mega event. But I thought it was very enjoyable. I was entertained. I was captivated the entire time for the duration of the film. The animation, I didn't really find, a lot of people did not like the animation with that one. I didn't see it. I thought it was pretty much on par with other DC animated films. So I don't know what people were complaining about with that one, but again, it's everybody's opinion. And it, you know what? If, that, if you did not feel that it was that great, you know what? Be my guest. That is, you know, you can have that opinion. And that's the great thing. You know, everybody, everybody can see it how they want to see it. And that's fine. For me personally, I thought it was pretty darn enjoyable. And I thought it looked pretty darn good as well. So let's go ahead and get this one open. Now, the one thing I will say with this particular release, this one's a little bit more pricier than what part one was. A little bit higher price on Amazon when I pre-ordered this. And I was really hoping the price would have, was going to drop a little bit. But it just seems steelbooks are just... They're, the prices are going up there in steelbooks. And I don't know if the prices are going to start coming down again for these new releases in steelbook form. Hopefully they will. But unfortunately, it looks like the prices are kind of like anywhere, getting up higher, higher, and higher. So we're going to have to see. Hopefully things will settle down at some point and we'll get start getting steelbooks at a more affordable price. But once again, there's the front. There is the back. Let's go ahead and open this up. Special features include Voices in Crisis, The Bat Family of the Multiverse, and Part 3, Sneak Peek. So... Part three coming for Crisis on Infinite Earths, which I'm kind of surprised. I thought there was only going to be a two part, but it looks like it's going to be three parts. So, hey, I'm down for it. More DC animated pictures, I'm all in. Look at that. I love this matte finish to this. Like, just a very, very nice matte finish. It's just, it, it just really, it pops. It's not glossy or anything like that, but it just pops. I really like that. Just love some DC animation. Take the J card off the back. And there is the back of our steelbook. And this is gonna be looked, this is gonna look really, really nice on the shelf, lined right up with part one. Okay, open this up, take our digital code out, put it to the side, and we have our 4K Ultra HD disc right here. Go ahead and take that out. Let's look behind, see our cast of characters we have on the inside of the steelbook. Yeah, not a bad looking steelbook. I really I think this one came out really nice. Like I said, I was a little bit on the fence with part one about how it was going to actually look when I had it in my hands as far as the steelbook goes. But, you know, I'm not disappointed. I wasn't disappointed with that one, and I'm not disappointed with this one. I think they, they, they knock it out of the park with these steelbooks. I think DC does a really good job when they put these out. And, uh, yeah, I am pretty darn happy to have part two. I'm looking forward to checking this one out and seeing where the story is going to go with this particular, looks like now, three-part series, possibly. I, don't, I mean, I think it's going to be three parts. I don't think it's going to be a fourth part. Maybe part three is going to wrap up. Maybe it's just going to be like a trilogy. So that's kind of a surprise and a happy surprise at that because I am kind of want to see this thing continue on because I love me some DC animation. So like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance, and I'll catch you in another episode. Take care.